Welcome to another SalesZing.com rules discussion. In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 racing rules of sailing. We'll cover one rule at a time, incorporating the relevant definitions and using animated scenarios with questions and answers. In this video, we'll cover rule 16, which addresses changing course. This series is an update to the Fair Sailing Initiative sponsored by the ILYA in 2018. Our thanks to UK sailmakers for generating the animated scenarios. Rule 16 is in part two of the rules, which covers situations when boats meet or are about to meet. Section B of part two contains four rules that limit the actions of right-of-way boats. Here is rule 16. Take a moment to read it. Rule 16.1 is the main rule. It says that when a right-of-way boat changes course, she shall give the other boat room to keep clear. This part of the rule applies whenever boats meet. Rule 16.2 describes a special case of Rule 16.1. If you're a starboard boat on a beat to windward, and a port tack boat is bearing off to pass to leeward, you can't bear away if the port tack boat must change course immediately to continue keeping clear. This special case is designed for situations where a starboard boat might try to hunt a port boat, such as in team racing. Let's highlight a few key points about Rule 16. First, as we just mentioned, this rule limits the ability of a right-of-way boat to change course in order to hunt another boat and get them to commit a foul. The term change course is not defined in the rules, but is discussed in an interpretation shown here. The interpretation states that changing course means changing the direction in which the boat is moving or heading. It does not include slowing down or speeding up. The bottom line is, if you're a right-of-way boat, don't contribute to doing the dance by trying to outsmart the moves of the other boat that is trying to avoid you. Rule 16 was revised for 2021. The markup is shown here. Rule 16.1 is the main rule and was not changed. Rule 16.2 was revised to specifically address bearing off to hunt a boat on a beat to windward. In team racing, bearing away past 90 degrees to the true wind on a beat is a common tactic. Let's take a look at two Rule 16 scenarios. Here's the first one. Watch what happens. Red and green are sailing upwind. At location two, red bears off to sail below green, but green also bears off. At location three, red's he red heads up in response, but green also heads up. There is no contact. Green alleges that red did not keep clear, violating Rule 10. Red alleges that green broke Rule 16. Here are some questions about this scenario. At location 2, did green break Rule 16? The answer is no. Rule 16.2 applies. Red was keeping clear to pass a stern of green. At location 2, when green, green bore off, red still had room to keep clear. At location 3, did green break Rule 16? Yes, Rule 16.1 applies. Green changed course after red headed up to keep clear. At location 3, when green headed up, red did not have room to keep clear. At location 3, did red break Rule 10? Yes, red broke Rule 10 by not keeping clear of green, but she is exonerated since she did so because of Green's actions. This is, a, this is in accordance with Rule 43, exoneration. Let's watch the next scenario. Yellow and blue are sailing downwind. Blue jibes onto starboard tack. Yellow then turns sharply to windward, causing contact. Yellow alleges blue did not keep clear, Rule 11. Blue alleges yellow broke Rule 16. Which boat should promptly take a penalty? Yellow should take a penalty. Rule 16.1 applies. 
Yellow is the right-of-way boat, but did not give Blue room to keep clear. Yellow turned so fast that Blue couldn't respond promptly and in a seaman-like way. Here's another question. Did Blue break any rules? Yes, at location 3, Blue did break rule 11, but she's exonerated since she broke the rule due, due to Yellow's actions. Let's conclude our discussion of Rule 16 with a case from the World Sailing Casebook. There's a link to the casebook in the salesing.com post that accompanies this video. In Case 92, Sailing Upwind, P bears off to keep clear. S bears off and continues to bear off, and P responds by bearing off further. At Location 2, their masts collide. S claims that P should have tacked to keep clear. The question in the case is, is P required to anticipate that S will keep bearing off? What do you think? The conclusion in the case is that S broke Rule 16. P is not required to anticipate that S would keep bearing off. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our content, please subscribe. Also, visit our website at salesing.com for much more content.